Well, Jamie, I think if anything summed up the emotional roller coaster of the, these Betfred World Championship qualifiers, that's it. An incredible win. You were 9 1 up. You came fighting back at you. How did you manage to control your emotions and, and get it back at the end? Um, really not sure. You know, 9 1 up, I was coasting and sort of lost a couple of dodgy frames then. And then in the end, it was just momentum against me, you know, and I just. I was just trying and trying, you know, and it was just, to be honest with you, the game was going away from me. He was doing all the play and I was just holding on in the end, but I made a good 30 or 40 odd in that game, and, you know, it's good to hold yourself together after all that pressure. I mean, it's su- such a pressure cooker right there. I mean, in terms of your career and moments of holding yourself together, have you ever been more relieved and more proud of, of pulling one out of the bag than that? Yeah, it's a strange one. I've never been in a position where I've, someone's come back at me, you know, so strongly, you know, I was so far in front. Um, and it was my own doing really I lost a couple of frames I really should have won 10 one, ten, two, 2 and then all of a sudden it's just the pressure in the end and it was just fighting against the tide you know there, there was that one frame the, the 13th frame where, where he needed a, I think it was a 6 point snooker he, he got a 7 point snooker yeah. so, yeah. Uh, was that the point where you started to, to kind of worry that it could slip away or? yeah it was weird really because I thought right just don't go anywhere near the black so I, I purposely sort of played away from the black but I've had a bit of a straight bounce and I hit the black and I'm thinking oh you know, the worst thing I could have done was hit the black. Um, and then it was just frame by frame going by. And it was just, I was on a bit of a merry-go-round in the end. I couldn't do anything right. Every safety I played, he parted a long one. Um, ev- and then in the end, I was getting in, I was missing. I was just all over the place in the end. With, with the crucible on the line t- tomorrow, how easy is it to, to gather your emotions after that? I mean, it must have been a, a, a real turbulent match to, to come through. And, and now you've got to, I suppose, got to get yourself down and get back going tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I just look forward to tomorrow now. It's just um, in the end, then I just couldn't really see a way that I was going to get a chance. You know, he was just sort of potting good long ones and keeping me safe. Um, the pressure was building, you know, and just I'm just relieved to get through and I'll try and sleep tonight. I don't know if I will, but um, yeah, I come back tomorrow fighting. Liang Wenbo tomorrow, probably the forum player of the week, but you, you played incredibly well to go 9-1 up there. It'll be you, two players at the top of their form going, going toe-to-toe, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I won six in a row against Stedman in the first game. I won nine out of the first ten frames in that match, you know, so I'm sort of, I'm scoring very well and I'm running frames off. It just had a little bit of a blip at the end.